Ladies and gents from the nice folks at Diesel and Boutique Amp Distribution. It's the latest amp in their micro amp series. They've got a Bogner one, they've got a Friedman one, and now there's a Diesel. It's the VH4 Micro. Now, my standard disclaimer, this is a fun, fun thing to have around. It's not a replacement for your actual VH4. That would be ridiculous, but it does sound really cool. I had a good time with it, and you heard it, of course, on all the guitars on that track at the beginning of the video. I used it in a couple different ways, and in particular in one way that I haven't tried with these microamps, and that is to say I took the effects loop send, and I ran that right into my recording interface, and then I added uh, some impulse responses on a channel in Logic, and that worked really well. But then I also tracked the majority of the parts, actually, uh, with the speaker output just plugged into my old Marshall cabinet that's mic'd up out in the other room. That said, maybe my favorite tone that I got was the one that I did DI, coming right out of the effects loop sand, and I added a York impulse response of a Friedman uh, 412 with a Vintage 30. So it's just cool to know that you can do that. You can actually plug this thing direct right into a recording interface, add some speaker simulation, get some cool results. As far as the controls, um, we got a master, deep, and presence control. So those would be sort of the uh, low end and high end for the power amp. And then we got a bass, middle, treble, three band EQ, and a gain control. Now there's tons of gain in this amp and there's no clean going on. It's basically, you know, anywhere from a crunch on up to like really heavy distortion. And I found pretty much like I never had to turn the gain past one o'clock, even for like the lead parts to get as much searing sustain as I could possibly want or need. And for the tightest rhythm parts, I found that I wanted to run the gain down around like maybe 10 o'clock, nine o'clock, something like that. It's a fat sounding amp. I mean, it's, you know, that VH4 character or like, you know, if you're a fan of like the dual recto sound or something like that, it's got that kind of tone going on. Not really like modded Marshall or anything like that. More that big, fat, grindy, full distortion character. So I'll solo some of those parts from the track at the beginning of the video outside of the mix, including the ones I did through my speaker cabinet, as well as the one that I recorded using the effects loop sand into an impulse response of a V30. And then I'll also uh, plug the amp back into the cabinet and uh, record a guitar loop through my TC Ditto looper, and uh, that'll free up my hands so that I can turn the knobs and stuff like that, and you can see what the controls do. Here we go, it's the VH Micro. <laughs>
Thanks you guys for watching my video on the VH Micro from the nice folks at Diesel Boutique Amp Distribution. It's another fun little amp in their micro amp line and uh, you can use it for direct recording, you can plug it into a speaker cabinet, get some great results and it's pint sized and super light, you can toss it around, it's not a big deal. Check it out further, that link in the video description below, click there, it'll take you to all the info about the Diesel VH Micro. Thanks so much for watching, please hit subscribe if you haven't, I'd really appreciate it, come back and see my channel often. I am Pete Thorne, take care, over and out.